Well, ministers from around the world and uh, captains of industries gathered in Central Africa during the last week to attend the annual meetings of uh, the African Bank Development Group's annual meetings. Business anchor Nzingat Kunta was there and filed this report. The African Development Bank Group's annual meetings have ended. The meetings, whose theme was regional integration for Africa's economic prosperity, were held in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. There have been questions about why the country was chosen to host the event. Their Minister of Economy, Finance and Planning believes there are many reasons. When you look across Africa, uh, the sub-region that will benefit more for the regional integration will be the CIMAC region, our sub-region, because it's the less interconnected, less integrated. So I think uh, by hosting these uh, African Development Bank annual meetings, we are creating a very good opportunity to Equatorial Guinea to showcase what we've done in the last decade and also to send a signal out there that uh, this region is uh, moving forward when it comes to integration. Stakeholders from across the African continent and the world came to the meetings. Agriculture and technology were touted as ways of drastically improving Africa's economic prospects. All of this workforce is currently in the informal sector. So I'm coming back to technology. When you bring technology uh, with financial inclusion, then you bring uh, people from the informal sector in the formal sector. So uh, women and the youth, uh, which uh, basically were not included uh, so far in the, all these uh, uh, dynamics of uh, development in Africa, they will now um, have the opportunity to take a lead role and because we all know women are more productive women are wiser the the youth is more creative so this is definitely what we need and uh, again technology is the key and the solution for that delegates were lauded for their attendance and what they brought to the meetings by the bank's president dr akinwumi aresina you love Africa. You love the African Bank. You are always there to keep an eye on what we do, to proffer useful suggestions, advice and guidance. There have been questions raised about how Equatorial Guinea spends their vast sums of money earned from oil. The minister says a Human Rights Watch report, which alleges, among other things, human rights violations and corruption, is not entirely correct. No, it's not correct at all. I mean, the Human Rights, uh, the human rights uh, <laughs> report, it's, uh, they are not, it's kind of difficult to address this issue because there are a lot of uh, misunderstanding at the, at, the baseline of, at, at the basement of that. Let me tell you something. Okay. If a country does not have steady electricity, does not have water and sanitation, does not have schools, does not have universities, does not have public building where public servants can work, does not have roads, does not have bridges, ports, airports, how can you talk about improving the living, improving the living condition of the people? It's going to be impossible. It's the final day of the Africa Development Bank Group meetings taking place in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. And there's a sense of optimism as people leave with the theme regional integration for Africa's economic growth in mind. Nzinga Kunta, SABC News, Equatorial Guinea.